Hi everybody, uh, it's about time I did another video. I'm so sorry to once again have abandoned you, um, but we've been really busy doing shows and events in London and Manchester, so I do apologise. Today's video is going to be about the life and times of Betsy. Okay, I get lots of questions from you all about how long Betsy looks good for, and I always think that Betsy goes through sort of three stages in her time with you. The first stage is when she emerges from her packaging and she's silky and smooth and lovely and youthful. Okay, and I know lots of you love her when she's in this condition. And she stays in this condition for a relatively long time if you look after her well. I mean, you know, I've still got women now who are wearing pieces that are over a year old that are still looking just like this. Now, the reason they're looking like this is because they don't heat style them and they wash them in the best possible organic, sulfate free, paraben free, all those free lovely stuff, um, shampoos and conditioners. So very little stress is put on the piece. Now, I'm a little bit different because I like to have texture in my hair. So I'm wearing a piece, this piece here is approximately eight months old. And so she is, she was originally a blondie. So over the course of me having her washed her a few times. So the smudge root has lightened a little and so too have the low lights going through her. But essentially, this is the kind of hair I love because I style her and she remains like this. I never had sleek, smooth, silky hair. When my hair was my own, I had curly, bouncy, red hair. You know, it was huge. Um, and so my vision of what I like my hair to look like is like this or like this. And those of you who have seen me come to see me in London and Manchester um, over the last couple of weeks will know that I drove all the way from Somerset to Manchester with the roof down on my car for four and a half hours wearing this piece. Now this piece is my prototype Maud. So when we were developing Maud, this was the first piece that I got. She's been through the wars. I mean, I put her through all manner of things, but she's about 18 months old. And because she's 18 months old, and I put her through lots of um, tests, um, she's quite dry. But when she gets dry, she takes the curl really well. So when I got out of my car at the other end in Manchester, I'm not going to lie to you, she didn't look a million dollars. When I got to my room, I took her off, put my fingers through her, just gave her a comb through and was able to put her back on my head and look fabulous. Okay, so three stages, soft and silky, no heat styling, good conditioner and shampooing, protection as well from UVA and UVB, okay, really important. Stage two, yeah, She's drier, she's coarser, but she still looks great. And stage three, quite old now, but able to give you that lovely curl and she'll maintain that until you wash her again. I didn't do anything to this piece between washes. And um, you know, she always looks fab. And I always feel, I always feel good in this one. I guess it's because she's got so much better than and I love that. So the answer to the question, how long does Betsy last, is quite difficult for me to answer because I'm happy to wear her at whatever stage in her life cycle she is. If you're not, if you only want to wear her like this, then you may end up replacing her more often than somebody who's quite willing to wear her like this too. Okay. So, in this beautiful sunny weather. I hope that you are protecting Betsy with heat protection spray. Remember, it's important to protect her from UVA and UVB light. So invest in a really good heat defence product, sun defence product, particularly if you're going to be lying on the beach or wandering about um, in very hot climates. That's all from me. Uh, take care, everybody, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye now.